Hello, welcome back to BS Live, and today we're gonna continue talking about um, USDZ file format, and I will basically gonna talk about uh, the materials. And just the other day, I was uh, trying to make some kind of a uh, tool that allows you to simply collect collect all the materials um, example like uh, all the materials that's in the 3D scenes, and then gather all the 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 map file path in Blender, and then simply uh, by by running the script, you can collect all the details about the materials. If I run the script three times here, it will basically print out um, the file path. Okay, so that's basically the idea. It's very very uh, simple and basic. Currently here, I'm using Blender 2.8. Although 2.8 doesn't have the OBJ export, so I will, I will need to open it using previous Blender or export it as Collada maybe. So let's try doing that actually. So file export Collada and see see how this actually works. Selection only. Apply modifier. Export Collada. It might fail, but uh, we'll see. Okay, let's open Blender 2.79. So the AE Collada. We don't uh, we don't have USDZ converter from Collada DAE to USDZ yet. So, but uh, oh yeah, by the way, uh, the setup is like this. I am basically collecting PBR material or physically based uh, rendering material. Um, this one, I believe, it's from PBR example app. You can see it's materials can have all this albedo, ambient occlusion, metal, normal, roughness. Some of them only have albedo, color, normal, roughness. But most of them has this uh, four, four map, four shader map for the color, albedo, metalness, normal, and roughness. So for now, I'm assuming that uh, I'm assuming that all these materials have this uh, color metallic roughness and normal map all right so that should be what we need to gather for, for now but basically this is the pbr setup in blender 2.8 and this setup should have the material that will work as usdz so that's the main point so if you're back to 2.79 i want to export out the I want to import the Collada DAE first of all. Get it from the desktop. Import Collada. So we have the three cube. And if you look at it properly, this cube is named already named properly, and then the cube also have the material assigned. So this one is granite, this one plastic, and this one is wood, just like here. The one you look, you're looking at here is a, also rendered as a PBR, so it looks quite nice. I can turn off all this overlay, and then this is basically how it's going to look on the US, as USDZ. Okay, so select these three materials, maybe put it on the ground, and then file, export, OBJ, and save it on the desktop. Let's call it round cube selection only export it and then we should have the file over here oh it's actually under documents so round cube this is the just the obj let me quickly preview it oops all right that's funny Okay, well anyway, that's a uh, that's our cube and we can convert it into USDZ. Let's open up new window, go to desktop, run the Xiran USDZ converter for our rounded cube OBJ to rounded cube 
usdz and then enable val oops val and then this is supposed to be usdz let me enlarge this and then maybe change the color okay so it's converting um, our thingy into USDZ. All right, that's that's kind of funny, right? If I all right. Anyhow, you can see the preview. Um, but it doesn't have material yet, so we need to assign the material. So basically, once we have the USDZ. Um, the, the USDZ converter actually take care of the objects and material linking. So as long as we don't, we don't change that kind of relationship, we can actually go back to this guy and then if we change this with a monkey head and just name it um, cube, cube B and then use the material, uh, maybe, what is this, plastic? granite plastic wood so if we maintain the relationship and the naming when we export and update the obj and then recreate the usdz we're still gonna get uh, the correct result for now we have to take care of the materials so with the materials really here we have one two three objects being selected and if uh, i just run the script it will generate this for us so this is actually for the material assignment for USDZ so what's gonna happen now is that I simply need to copy this and then open it up on something like sublime text paste it so that's the first line and then the next line we will be just simply copy this if I try to explain this a little bit so the first line simply convert doing the conversion from U obj with U uh, to usdz the next line is the parameters that we're gonna apply for the materials we have wood material plastic material and granite material which is we assign here um, and then this is like all the paths into into the materials library in my folder so if we just copy all this and then paste it into this guy and then run it hopefully everything works properly we don't have any error and then we should we should get our objects with all the materials There you go now it's working properly yeah it's really it's really actually that uh that symbol <laughs> it's um it's actually working even better now it's um yeah, normally there's extra information about the about the objects but anyhow like like i said if we have this guy now convert it smooth it select this guy file export um, as obj once again this is gonna update the obj and then we run rerun this we should have the updated usdz very very soon so that's the obj that's the i think the monkey head disappear oh yeah interesting the monkey head actually disappeared I wonder because the mesh naming is wrong so this one is like cube c and then the mesh name is cube.002 cube 00 or oh, this one shouldn't change so this cube.001 just be careful with that one two three file export obj so of course there so that means there's an object name which is cube b and then there's a mesh name 
so that's uh, something we need to take care of also and then all these materials business currently with my script uh, this is still in progress of course this is like uh, still need to be um, rewritten properly currently it's, it's assuming there's like four maps being assigned to the object for different mapping it could be like six or less and then this is also assuming a lot of things but uh with uh, what the script is actually doing is just based on selected object find the material assign find the first material of that object so that's also something that needs to be improved because a single object can have multiple materials but i realized after i'm writing this script that uh what we need to worry is just the materials we just need to gather all the materials that are being used in the 3d scenes and then gather just gather all the gather all the shaders file path and then that's really what we need to worry about and then once we do that collect all of this and get all the file paths for the materials we can simply just use the usdz converter and assign it this way we don't need to worry about how the the objects link into the material um just the materials and the shaders file path we worry about and then and then that's pretty much done okay the monkey head is still missing so i might have done something wrong yep Maybe you didn't, didn't find a monkey head. So there is a cube B, there is cube A, 0, 0, 3, and cube C. This one assigned to plastic man, wood map. There must be a mistake in with this guy. So plastic mat, granite, wood mat. Well, we probably can just. Uh, oh, actually, I know. This guy doesn't have UV. That's why. If I just assign it with a smart UV and then re-export that should probably fix it okay this one has Suzanne Okay, cool. Yeah, the UV actually matters in this case because the PBR is looking at the, the UV coordinate. So there you go. Currently, I'm still using Blender 2.79 because 2.79 can export to a lot of different format. 2.8 is still alpha. Again, this is my 2.8 alpha. This is the, the hash for it. This one only have file export for LMB and Collada. So animations can be exported and can be imported. Currently, it doesn't have OBJ export, but uh, in the future, it will have OBJ export, of course. And we can do this simply by running the script, the Python script, to actually run the USDZ converter inside Blender. So that way, we can really just export out the USDZ without without having to go to the command line because because we can run the command line from Blender. Okay, so that's pretty much what I want to talk about. So then, yeah, in summary, this process really, uh, let's say, so you are doing like a manual or maybe not really manual. In the future, you can just import um, PBR material and Blender will do this automatically, I believe. Um, simply loads PBR materials whenever it finds the the albedo, it will plug it into the color, base color, metal, metallic, roughness, roughness, normal, etc. Sometimes you also have this uh, ambient occlusion that you're going to plug into 
where is the ambient occlusion here somewhere um or maybe because i'm using ev but anyhow um that's will make everything more streamlined so an object with a, its own mesh whatever the mesh looks like and then with the uv map and an object can have multiple materials and then everything will simply um, transfer smoothly in the pipeline so and of course usda uh, the usd itself can handle a lot more so in the future if you are building like a, a room maybe like a kitchen or a toilet room with all like hundreds of different objects with different materials you're gonna want to use like a usd a pixar usd for the to handle all these assets and then bundle everything into a single usdz maybe it's gonna be pretty big but i, I don't know it might be something that you want to do uh, we don't know how this usdz format is gonna develop and gonna be um, adopted by designers or artists but I think it's a pretty good format. It's really make um, say, see, like something like this can easily convert into something like this that you can just use on the iPhone. It's gonna look exactly like this, pretty much. So there you go. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.